I hear all the time from like parents and other players, guys or girls, like watching me play, how much it like inspired them. Monet Davis, Monet Davis, listen to the crowd. Monet Davis of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. By now you've probably heard about Monet Davis, the first female pitcher to win a game in Little League World Series history. Show me the Monet. This is uh, monumental what's happening right here. That one game I was just in the zone, just not focused on what was going on around me. I was just, Doing what I had normally did throughout the entire summer was just go out, throw strikes. 13-year-old me was just a girl who wanted to go have fun with her teammates. She was a leader for her team. I feel like she was like the anchor of the team and just made sure everything was going smoothly when things you know, got a little rough. So yeah, growing up, I was basically the only girl. Here and there, I'd see another girl, but on this team, I was really just the only girl here. I feel like I learned the impact kind of a few years ago when, you know, multiple people started coming up to me or some of my favorite athletes have told me like how much, you know, it meant to see me out there play. I basically grew up just a couple blocks away. Um, this is the first place that I first started playing sports. Uh, right here in left field is where my coach, Coach Steve, he, uh, basically saw me throwing a football and asked me to come out for the team um, because he said I was throwing perfect spirals 30 yards at the age of seven. I just felt like this was a perfect place. This is basically like my second home. I did everything over here. I did, you know, played football in the outfield. I played baseball. I hit my second home run here. My older cousin actually played here before I did, so I'd always come to his games and watch him. And then my brother introduced me to basketball and I would always be playing with them. And I just thought it was such a fun thing to watch and just thought it was so interesting how, you know, people are so good at this sport and I figured I could do the same. <laughs> Seeing how many people are playing baseball, how many girls are playing baseball now, or how many girls are, you know, playing with the guys, um, that's not, you know, you normally don't, you normally didn't see that before. So to see it now is pretty special and, you know, it makes me happy. Good, Good to see you. you. I'd say the progress that we need to see um, with involving girls in sports is just making more organization for, you know, girls. Can I see that? What if, what if is everybody against me? Not limiting them to a specific sport, just, you know, setting the sky as limit and going above and beyond and letting them do whatever that they want to do within the sports world. I know a little something about Title IX. You know, it was passed so women get the same treatment, that women aren't discriminated in any type of way. I don't think I could ever imagine, like, me not having the same opportunity as, you know, my male counterparts, or just me not having the same things that, you know, my male, that I have now, really. If it wasn't for Title IX, I don't know if I'd be able to if I'd be sitting here, if I know half the people that I know. I started coaching with Coach Steve, I think, early 2021. Um, he put together, you know, a girls team, I think from ages like seven to 10. And, you know, just seeing how aggressive some of them were and just like thinking back to like, oh, like some of my teammates were like this aggressive. Like she could definitely just go hang with the boys really. Being a leader is, you know, basically instilled in me from being on the Monarchs that, you know, I just had to really embrace it and, you know, just step up when the team needed me. So I would always say I wanted to coach like the national team and go win a World Cup or go win the Olympics. I know Coach Steve remembered that. And I feel like I could relate to, you know, these girls on a different level. Growing up here, like, there weren't many, you know, women, like, women athletes that I could look up to. So, you know, having younger girls here, just coming coming back and helping them out. Them seeing what I've been doing, what I'm doing, it'll inspire them. And if you ever come to the Anderson Monarchs field, like there's placards on the fence of all the guys that were Monarchs growing up and how they graduated college and you get a plaque on the field. So I've been wanting to get a plaque since they first started that and you know, I'm super close to it. And I hope when, you know, 
once I get my plaque, that once these girls see it, they want to get their plaques as well, and they want to go to college and get that degree and you know further their education.